Welcome to the chapter data handling. This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Learning objectives. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to explain how data is recorded. Discuss different ways of organizing the same set of data. Explain the tally marks. Represent the data in the form of a pictograph. Introduction We know that teachers collect the information about the students in the classroom for attendance, marks and fee payments. Can you guess how the information is organized and how it is represented? In this chapter, we will learn about handling of the data and its representation in various forms. Now, we will see what is a data handling. Data handling means grouping each type of object and counting the objects in each group. Data handling makes it simple to keep a record of the different objects we have. Definition Data is a collection of numbers gathered to give some information. Example Data handling Hi children, look at the picture. In this picture, we see different animals like elephants, deer, cows, monkeys and rabbits. There are three elephants, four rabbits, two monkeys, five deer and two cows. Arrange them in the descending order. Now the data is in a proper table as the animals are arranged in descending order and it becomes easy to understand and interpret. So here we can easily tell that there are five deer among the 16 animals. Now let us perform an activity on data handling. The table given below tells you the number of pictures of each animal. Now, let us perform an activity on data handling. Answer the questions as per the weights of different students given below.
Let us study the tally marks. A tally mark looks like a vertical line. Tally marks are an easy way to count things. Each tally mark stands for one. If you have three tally marks, then the final count is the number three. If you have four tally marks plus another one crossing the four tallies, then the number is five. For example, if you have seven tally marks, then the final count is the number seven. Definition Tally marks are a quick way of keeping track of numbers in groups of five. One vertical line is made for each of the first four numbers. The fifth number is represented by a diagonal line across the previous four. In this section, we are going to learn how to record a data. Suppose a boy collected a data of different types of trees he found while he was going to school. He prepared a table of number of trees and showed it to his teacher. But his teacher asked him to represent the number of trees he found with a tally mark. But he didn't know how to represent it. Then one of his friends in his class stood and drew the notations as shown on screen. His friend represented marks in terms of vertical lines for less than 5 and for more than 5 in number. He drew the first four vertical lines and the fifth one diagonally across the previous four lines and the remaining as the previous values. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Let us solve a few exercise problems. Click the tab to view the solution. Pictograph Observe the pictograph shown on screen. It represents the different items a shopkeeper has in his shop. By looking into the chart, can you say which item is more in number and which item is less in number? How many candies does he have in total? All these can be easily answered that chips packets are more in number, chocolates are less in number and candies are four in number by looking at the pictures of different items. Pictograph is a way of representing statistical data using symbolic figures to match the frequencies of different kinds of data. Now, let us see how to draw the pictograph for the given data. At a parking place, the following number of scooters were parked on different days. Draw a pictograph to represent the information. Now to draw a pictograph, if it is not possible to draw the scooter's image, then consider a symbol to denote it. And then draw a tabular form consisting of two columns, one for days and the other for number of scooters parked. And then consider six rows as there are six days. Now, let us start representing with Monday as there are ten scooters parked. Draw the symbols of scooter beside Monday that is in the number of scooters parked column. Similarly, on Tuesday as seven scooters are parked, so draw the seven scooter symbols beside Tuesday. Similarly, draw remaining scooter symbols as per given data beside the respective days. Summary Let us recap the highlights of this chapter. We have seen that data is a collection of numbers gathered to give some information. Tally marks are one of the methods to get particular information from the given data quickly. Tally marks are a quick way of keeping track of numbers in groups of five. 
One vertical line is made for each of the first four numbers. The fifth number is represented by a diagonal line across the previous four. We learnt how a pictograph represents data in the form of pictures, objects or parts of objects. We have also seen how to interpret a pictograph and answer the related questions. We have drawn pictographs using symbols to represent a certain number of items or things. Follow-up work Go to your vegetable shop. Note down the prices of vegetables. Fill in the table below. You can find out what your classmates like more. Do they like red color? yellow color or some other color the best. So ask them and record what they say using tally marks. Evaluation Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter Data Handling.